Well, hey there, hubby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peak's Peak. Today, we are in the shop at Davis Equipment because, well, here's my tractor, or what's left of my tractor. I made a mess. All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I've got the guys here that have my transmission tore apart and they're gonna share some information with us about how the diff lock works, how the brakes work inside the transmission and kind of show us what we need to be careful with and some of the things we need to look out for as we maintain our tractor and then just in our daily use to make sure that when we engage the diff lock, we don't cause this kind of damage again. Now, I don't know that this was necessarily caused by the way I operate it, but I definitely wanna learn everything I can about this to try to prolong its life in the future because they're probably not gonna fix this for me again. So guys, if you haven't figured it out by now, I broke the diff lock on my Kubota BX23S. And I didn't realize my tractor was still under warranty, but I talked to the good folks at Davis Equipment and they said that it should still be under warranty and covered. So I took it to them and they are in the process of repairing the tractor for me as we speak. Now I washed my tractor before I took it to them, but it was still very dirty under the fuel tank and under the floor pan. So they took everything apart, they pressure washed it, got everything cleaned up before they got started on the repairs. And then they dug into it and found the problem. So here are a few pictures of the carnage that they sent to me while they were disassembling the tractor. And then I'm actually going to go in and talk to them and have them explain how some of these parts work. So that'll be the next part of this video. But you can see the pins that are loose in the case, all the metal shavings and the problems that were created by that. So yeah, definitely a major issue. We were fortunate not to break any gears or crack the transmission case, so this can be repaired by just replacing parts. This is where your pins go for your locking rear differential. Oh, you right. see the holes in, in the side. Yep, and they go okay. in there. You can see where the damage is right there, uh, right? Yeah. So yeah. when this sits in there, this is on a, on a cam here. Yeah. Slides in here, so when you step on that step on your rocking your differential it spins that and then just moves that in and out right right so when we say about not not moving forward on it yeah you know what you want to do is line it up and that what what that's doing is that those pins are riding against here mm -hmm. and once it lines up that's when it slides into place that's why i say when you don't when you go out of speed and do that and jam that yeah. in there that's that's so what can happen real slow. Now, i'm not saying that's what happened here we don't yeah. really know what happened here yeah but it just kind of illustrates when we talk about that yeah so um you can see the shavings in there in here and then you saw the picture the picture of wow yeah you saw the picture where this was lying in the bottom and we had we actually yeah. had a little bit of space at the bottom between the casing and the and the and the ring gear here. Yeah. We had a little bit, but you get a little bit where it cants that, and that's where you can crack the housing. Now you can see where it, where it scuffed oh, a yeah. little bit right there. Yeah. And then also oh, right. on your. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. And then and then you can see a little bit here. Yeah. On your ring gear, this whole center section will get replaced here. We'll keep your ring gear yeah. fine, right? Yeah. So we're gonna clean all this out of here. So he didn't really make a leak in the housing? Nope. No. That's lucky. Yep. Yeah. That is, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and there's so many of them where that thing, that big gear grabs it and just pokes it through the bottom. Yep. Yeah. So then we're, this is, if you, you know, this is the screen you want to take yeah. out whenever you do your oil change. You yep. want to take this, this is the screen. So this is what you see from mm -hmm. the inside. So we're going to take this out and give you a good clean, yeah. clean there. Well, I know it's happened in just the last few weeks because I actually pulled this out and cleaned it, uh, it not more than a month ago okay because i did a video about it okay perfect uh, and it was clean then so yep so we're going to do that and then so this is your pto clutch package here all right so you so when you you know you hear people talk about these things you at least get to see yeah. what the internal on that is there so right. it's it's pretty neat to see the inside of it yeah it so, is so then what we're talking about while we have the transmission out now if this is your hydro hydraulic pump here uh -huh. it's not leaking yeah. okay but we do see those seals leaking, particularly there's there's some oil rigs in there, there's a cap in there, uh -huh. right? So that cap is usually what leaks, right? If you could spin that cap, usually that's where the leak is, mm -hmm. and then you'll get leak between the split line here. So what we're gonna do while we have this out, for 25 bucks, take four bolts out, pull it out, change the small oil ring, change the cap, put yeah. it right back on, and that way, that way we don't have to pull a transmission or try and, the 23S is a little bit more difficult, so we can finagle that in and out 
and lift that up. Yeah. But with the subframe in there, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Right. Typically, we have to take the transmission yeah. out. For so 25 bucks. For that's 25 bucks, you, you save no yourself some time yep. and take that out. We may look at, uh, also maybe look at your four wheel drive seal while we have it out, mm -hmm. replacing that as well for a okay. few bucks. We might yeah. replace that and just a little bit of preventive yeah. maintenance while we've got this thing out, out of the tractor. I'm good with whatever you, you think is, is worthwhile. Yep. Go ahead and I'll, I'll yeah. pay it. We'll pressure wash all this. It's a good time to get in here. Man, and look clean. how good a job I did cleaning up my tractor for you. <laughs> yeah. I pressure washed it before I brought it. It is really hard to get up underneath yeah. the floor pan. And, the, and and you saw the pictures I sent you of your transmission. But while we got it out, we'll get we'll get that pressure washed. And it's a good time to get all that cleaned up yeah. for you. And then we'll, you know, it's a good time to look at your hydraulic, your loader valve. Take a look at that. Make sure everything's good to go there. Yeah. You can see this is, this is when your coupler Mm -hmm. uh was leaking here this is all the result yeah. of that as that leaked down that's where all that dirt gathers so we'll get all that cleaned up we, we won't have any more problems yeah. your brakes are good okay right yeah. so we checked your brakes yesterday yeah we, there's no reason for us to get in there and change the brakes right yep there's your brakes okay. so that big snap ring come out and then your yeah your, your brake clutches are so it's kind of made like a clutch pack on a motorcycle or something yep okay that's yep. cool yep it's packed real bad so right when there. i clean it i need to pressure wash and get that case clean all yeah. over there yep. okay does watch, that make the brake kind of drag and, yep yeah. and then watch okay. watch getting the rocks in there too because sometimes that rock will stop that lever from actuating you'll think it's broke but you got yeah. something jammed up in there and it's, e you. it's easy to do i mean you use the tractor yeah. so much yeah and i'm i'm bad about not cleaning it up and, and i definitely don't clean it up every time i use it all right guys well i hate to leave my baby all tore apart like this but they're waiting for parts to come in so they're going to get it all taken care of they're cleaning up the rest of this mess and then putting in the new parts get it all put back together so probably late next week or so we'll be getting it back and we can get back to work so i hope you guys learned a little bit from today's video we definitely appreciate davis equipment for taking the time to set all this stuff out and show us so that we could share that with you appreciate y'all watching y'all have a good day so guys if you're in the kentucky ohio west virginia tri-state area be sure to stop by davis equipment on greenup avenue in ashland check them out they've got everything you need kubota related they've got loads of inventory they've got loads of implements in stock everything you need they're a great group of people in there they take really good care of you getting you what you need as well as service after the sale